Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorite. I am here today with my sister, Molly. Hi guys. <laughs> at, <laughs> at Stream and Freedom, she told me I need to direct her. <laughs> I'm used to being in front of the camera. Right, they have at Stream and Freedom, their YouTube channel. It's linked on my sidebar. And so she always says, this is a weird setup. I don't know how to do my hands. <laughs> and I like not showing my face on camera. So we both do what we're comfortable with. She and I did a video before on how she was bullet journaling. And we shared that. And we've shared some of her before that when she was planning a passion planner. And she will talk a little bit about that. And then Katie Daisy. So she started last year or somewhere around there in Passion Planner and then went to Katie Daisy and then went to a bullet journal. And now she has used Erin Condren before, yes. but she's taking a leap back to Erin Condren. And believe it or not, I've had a lot of questions. People are interested since we've done these videos together and they want to know um, what she's been doing and why she's going back to Erin Condren. What are her reasons? So hey guys, my sister did an Erin Condren order on Insider Day also. She's traveling the country in an RV right now uh, with her family. They've been doing that for two years. So you can check her out at Stream and Freedom on Instagram or YouTube. But she told me I could open her box because I've had some requests. So let's look in here and see what she ordered on launch day. So she got the typical Enjoy sticker too. She got this postcard, Nurture Your Mind with Great Thoughts. Erin Condren always gives a postcard and a gift sticker with every order, so you can just stash those and use them. Um, her boxes are always have the Enjoy sticker on them and wrapped with tissue. And, okay, she got the free reusable bag because she ordered on Insider Day also. The same thing I got. She picked up the three mini snap-in bookmarks and the Woven Wonder. This is your free sticker sheet that you also got along with your reusable shopping bag for shopping on um, Insider launch day. But I think she's giving these out on her normal launch too until they run out. I think everybody's getting them. So that's your free sticker sheet right there with some really cute stickers and silver foiling. So it's really pretty. And then oh, she got the same dashboard I did. We think alike. So I've never actually used a dashboard before, but this one actually spoke to me because it had just top priorities for the day or the week or maybe the month, however you want to do that, and then habit tracker and for the whole month. So I really like that. I like that. Um, and that's why I thought I would try this dashboard and see if it worked for me or not. She got the um, new sticker book, the new designer sticker book. And now you guys, I can't even remember if I ordered this. I hope I didn't forget to, um, but I will have already shown you that in my video. She got the seasonal sticker book, which I already have. And then, dun, dun, dun. She got black rings. Erin Condren has a new um, card in this year. It basically explains all the extras that come with your planner, like our gifts to you. It says, my sister got mischief managed because we love Harry Potter. And she got the black rings to go with that. I've never gotten the black rings, but it looks really good with mischief managed, of course. It looks like she got the 18 month. Yep, she got the 18 monther and I didn't get an 18 month one this time. So we'll have to compare our ring sizes when mine comes. And so it comes with your normal pouch and everything in there that I will show you with mine and the new woven wonder. And let's see, yep, she got the vertical colorful, the same thing I did for my um, normal planner. So that was my sister's order. That was her haul. So I'm going to let her uh, talk a little bit about that. I'll let her flip through just her Katie Daisy and Passion Planner really quick. Okay, so do this. Do yeah, these first. Go okay. ahead and flip through there so we can move that out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and just start start okay. with Passion Planner, which is kind of what you started with on the road. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Um, so I, I started off in Passion Planner and I, I liked it. Um, I liked the compact size. It fit easily next to my bed. I felt like 
I loved the this area down here. That's probably my favorite area. The to-do list. The to -do I list. love that too. I love how the to-do list is with your week. And I did do this open space as habit tracking. Which yeah, I love the way you did that. I'm really not that great at tracking habits, I've learned. Neither am I. I was going to say, though, we haven't told people, in case you're new to my channel and you don't know, my sister has been traveling the country oh. in an RV in a Class A for two full years. Yeah, you can chime in and interrupt okay. me anytime. At the end of May, it will be officially two full years. With her three boys, who she already homeschooled before they started traveling, so they didn't have to change that. But they have been traveling the country for two full years now in their Class A, whatever uh, kind of motor. Yeah. You can say. It's a Fleetwood Pacero. Okay. And they call it the night bus, which I like calling it that much better than remembering it's a Fleetwood Pacero. <laughs> you could call it an RV or your rig, but we call it the bus for short. Right. But it's right. not an actual school bus. Some people do actually live in the school bus. Nope. It actually looks more like a night bus. It's purpley. Yeah. From mm -hmm. Harry Potter. So. It does not look like a school bus at all. No. It looks like a fancy tour bus <laughs> is what it looks like. Yeah. But unfortunately, you're not on a fancy tour. You're with three children. Yeah, it's definitely not a tour bus. And it's definitely not a vacation. So I've been struggling trying to find a planning system that works for me. On the road. On the road. It's way different life than living in the house. Right, because you have less appointments. Yes. You have less scheduled things every week for the boys. Your life is very different than yeah. when you were in a house. And that's why she has struggled changing because she's finding what fits her the best on the road. Yes. So I like the Passion Planner. Um, I'm not very artistic. So sometimes I struggle trying to figure out how to write my numbers. We have a whole video on how she used her passion planner. So if you want to see more of this, I will link that video down in the description box. So, so I did plan for a few months in the passion planner. I liked the setup, but ultimately I decided it wasn't for me. She moved on. So then I moved on. It was on time to move on. To the Katie Daisy because I love her artwork so much. It makes me happy. So then I switched to the Katie Daisy. And I kind of had it split up like this. I would put a dotted line down in the center and put more scheduled events on the left and then to-dos on the right. And yep, I love the way you did that. I would just write little notes on the extra pages. I tried to keep track of where we were going. On the monthlies. On the monthlies. And then I did this for, I don't know, a few months. So this made it really easy for her to see if she had any appointments. They were on this side. Yes. If it's blank or nothing, you didn't have any errands or appointments that day. Right. And this is just to-dos on the RV at home during the day. So I loved her artwork, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So, But she does love the Katie Daisy so much that she's already reordered the new one. And she's going to use it. She has an idea for maybe quotes or intentions because Katie Daisy works perfectly for other things. Now enter the bullet journal. Which we have a whole video on also. So she's just going to talk about it for a minute because I will link that video down below also. Um, so I have the Leuchtsturm. Mm-hmm. Is that what it's called? That's how you say it. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so I... And the copper. My pretty copper. And, and her... One star leather cover. Which I also have whole videos on and I will link Love those. This. Yes. And they also make ones for Hobonichi. I have a whole video reviewing One Star Leather. So I will link that video down below. So I did the typical, I mean, I just copied people on Instagram. So tell us why um, the bullet journal worked for you for a while. What did you like about it? I liked the completely free space to do with it what I wanted. And I wasn't really pre-planning, so I didn't need to have all the months laid out. For me at a time so that's the main thing with you probably why it worked so well is you weren't pre-planning at the time you put appointments in your phone in your yes. iCal but I you pre didn't plan need, in my you pre-plan only in your phone yeah you didn't need a calendar to pre-plan on um but I also loved making lists so it worked perfectly for lists and then I could index it yes love that so although I'm not using the bullet journal right now I I'm still using it for lists like my favorite running gear because I'm going to do a vlog on that. And then, like, quotes from The Hiding Place, because it's just really good. Yes. Um, so and, good. like, notes if I'm reading other books. So I like that. I think, well, the last time I bullet journaled my was schedule, and it was in March. So okay. it's been a couple months. Okay. And since then, I've only been using, like, a pad of paper. <laughs> okay. In comes 
she decided she wanted to try to go back to Erin Condren. She's been in Erin Condren before. A long time ago. I've when she lived that. in a house. Yes. And so I really always loved the vertical layout. So that's what I got. In fact, she's the one that introduced me to Erin Condren. Yes. I'm going to take credit for that. <laughs> you, she did. And I would go to her house and see her Erin Condren's, but I don't know why they never interested me that much. I think because of the price. Number one, yeah. just at that time in my life, I wasn't ready to spend that much on a planner when you were into it. And just her paper was not the quality it is now. Oh, her paper now is. It's amazing. It's great. But I just felt like for the price, I just kind of felt like I didn't feel like her planner was maybe worth it yeah. at the time. But I get the Erin Condren craze now. Obviously, I'm into it. This so. is, her paper is actually my favorite. I know it's your second. Well, I don't know. Inkwell and Erin Condren, they're like head and head. Inkwell is thicker, and it feels like butter to write yeah. on it. Um, but I do love the tooth of the Erin Condren. And That's it is just favorite. a little yeah. bit thinner. Some stuff does show through, but very, I mean, very rare. Yeah. Inkwell and Erin Condren are head to head. Maybe I won't even say that Inkwell is number one anymore. I'm not sure. Like, for different reasons, they're head to head. But. So, I'm going I'm to try out the Erin Condren. And um, the top will be scheduled things, or like errands I need to run that day. The middle I'll use to do, and I think I will track my workouts. Okay. So that's very similar to mine, because I do errands right okay. here, um, or appointments, or any like thing that has, like a big thing that yeah. day. And like I do um, just any to-dos that go in there too. And my to-dos usually roll over to here. Okay. Or sometimes I write something good that happened that day because I do my workout right here in okay. my weather down there. Um, I think I'll track like my weekly to-do list there and then mm -hmm. I'll just pull from my like top three. That's good. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a multi-planner user like Amanda. <laughs> Well, no, it's just because I have too much going on in my life. <laughs> Honestly, I don't I don't even want to use multiple planners. It's just I always have to have a daily list. So a daily planner makes sense because I cannot possibly only work off a list this big. Yeah. <laughs> At some point in my life, I dream about it. One day. One day. Yes. So yeah. I went with the 18-month 18 18-month 18 one. Yeah. Color because I love color. Mm-hmm. And then I designed my... Because we love Harry Potter. Because we do love Harry Potter. <laughs> so, and I splurged for the black coil because it just, it matched so well. And the coil size, we should say, because I've talked all about the coil size being too big on the 12 month this year, that they've upped the size. The 18 month seems like the same size that they've always used for the 18 month. And it doesn't seem overly big. No. Because it seems like once you put, if you put a zipper bag in it or you put some pages of stickers in it, or whatever, or like another dashboard or whatever. It's not overly big for the 18 month. So only the ring on the 12 month is overly big this year. And let's see, I do have a 12 month right here. We can okay. show. Because people yeah. are gonna. And so this is a 12 month Erin Condren for 2019. And this is the 18 month. It just looks month. too big. Right, for how much planner you have in it, so. Because you can see these two rings are not that big of a difference in size. And yet there is six months less in this planner. So, but I talk a lot more about that. We've had chats on Instagram. We're not going to go into that in this video. So, are you, you're so excited to start back in. Yeah, I in wish July. I didn't have to wait that long. I know, July. It'll come quickly enough. Yes, it will. It's already May. Yeah. It's already the end of May. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. Okay, well... Molly, we will keep in touch with you. All right. And if you want to follow her on at Stream and Freedom, she does not talk about planners that much, or maybe not at all. If you're interested in travel um, adventures, road life, then yeah, there you go. RV, road life, homeschooling with three boys, and travel adventures. Yes. So you can follow her. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy planning. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.